It's funny to hear people's reactions because some people absolutely love them and some people absolutely hate them. <laughs> and I love that. I've been making hyper-realistic cakes for a long time now, and more recently, I've gotten better and better and put out more. And it's funny because some of the cakes that I've made that are really popular right now are actually really old. It was a bust cake back in 2012, and I entered it in a cake competition in Austin. So I wanted to do a bust because I was so familiar, you know, with sculpting like clay busts and like traditional art busts that I thought like, why not try to make a cake version? So I searched online and I kept looking and I'm like, I can't find a bust cake, at least a realistic one. I knew that I was like onto something, that people really like the human cakes and the realism. So I went on and I've made a ton of bus cakes since then and I get like better and better and I try out new things and I'm constantly practicing. And I just let him know what sizes I need and what flavors and he does all that work. Then it comes to me and I go in and I do the actual setup, sculpting, covering it in chocolate, sculpting the outside layer and then painting it. A cake can take anywhere from, I would probably say like a minimum of three hours of just sculpting and decorating to like a 40 hour work week where it's all dedicated to just one cake. But I do have to let you know that the actual cake comes later. So there's a lot of prep that gets, that's involved. So I gather the images, I build the structure, I uh, draw it out to size so I can kind of get a visual of like trying to match the size or I can print it out. I made a selfie cake. And that was awesome because I actually uh, looked in a mirror. So I have like, I can look at my nose and I can see it from every angle. Because like reference home images are super important. The selfie cake was just basically all, like a decade of experimenting, like put all into one cake. I get orders for bust cakes of like everything. Like people want them for birthdays, they want them for weddings. For Halloween, I made a Freddy Krueger bust cake, a Jason, uh, like all these really epic horror, you know, themed movies. I think sometimes when you're trying to make a hyper-realistic cake, it seems a little intimidating. But really, if you just go step by step, it's really just don't give up. You have to like dive in and give it a try. It's funny because my whole world revolves around cake, so I'm always thinking about it. And I'm just grocery shopping. Sometimes I'll see something and I'm like, ooh, I could use this material that's edible and tra it'll translate really well into this certain object. So I'll just grab an eggplant and I'm like, I'm gonna make this as a cake. <laughs> 